and that replacement helicopter last minute. Ryan scored the helicopter. And Jake Martin made it out safe? Yeah, he did. I just dropped him off at the hospital. He was fighting it all the way. He just... He didn't want to come back for some reason. He must be right. exhausted. And hungry. Do you want some food, some water, sleep? I'll get everything I want right here. Yeah. Okay, and you can have her all to yourself. But first, tell us... Tell us what happened. I mean, we saw the explosion. And yeah, I, I, I know. I mean, the timing was off. But it worked. The chopper landed under some pretty heavy fire. You know, I don't, I don't want to hear about it. <sighs> Tell me that part again about where you love me and miss me and you're never, ever leaving me again. To this day, I mean, I had to practically knock him out to get him on board. So not Jake. You can call us, let us know you were okay. Yeah, but you freaked us out. The sniper bullets, they took out the radio, and when the chopper landed, we had to rush for the army cargo plane. I had put you in a dangerous situation. No, you didn't, Zach. I chose to go. But just so we're clear, my job is behind a desk from now on, because my wife, she needs me in one piece. Mm. My wife. Don't you love that? The wife to be means the tissue. Come here. I want to thank you for what you did. It was a dangerous mission, and it went south, and you pulled it off. I was just doing what I was trying to do. I did more than that. Jake is here in Pine Valley, and he's alive because of you. Thank you. Hey, over here. Beautiful fiance. Come here, you. Come here. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get in touch. I let you know I was okay. No, you did. I knew you were coming home. I felt it. Here. You brought me back safe, you know that? Keeping my promises to you. This is what got me back here and got me back home. I mean, I did. I wasn't able to keep one promise. I lost that watch that you got me. I never want to see that watch again. We saw it on the video feed in that room, and everyone thought that it meant that you were, you know. But you didn't. You promised me you'd come back. You never lied to me. you did, reaching out to Aiden. Thank you. I love you. So you made the helicopter possible? You did all the hard stuff. I just made a few phone calls, my friend. Thanks. Good to have you back, man. You too. <laughs> so, about this wedding. What about the wedding? Well, after everything that's happened... You want to postpone it? No, no. I want to move it forward. 
I want you to be my wife as soon as we can snag a preacher and a sunny day. Hi. <laughs> mm, I love this guy. Don't you love this guy? Mm. Let's celebrate. Let's go to confusion, unless you're not up for it. I'm just getting started. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Grab my purse. I need purse. Yeah, let's go. Whoopsie, whoopsie doodle. Welcome home, hero. Sounds like you got yourself a hell of a party going on over there. Yeah, uh, we're at Confusion. You should, um, you should come down. Listen, how's Jake? He's alive, thanks to you. I really owe you this time, Fish and Chips. Well, you should be my best man and um, call it even. <laughs> That's a deal. Listen, do me a favor. Is, uh, is Slater with you? Yeah. Zach. What? Slater. Hey, Zach. It's uh, Tad. And I owe you an apology. I just forgot. What I said to you and Kendall about sending Aiden off on some kind of suicide mission. Why well, you were angry, I understand it, your brother was dead. If it weren't for you, he would be. What I told you was unnecessary. It was ugly. It's forgotten. Thanks for everything, Zach. And there's something else I would like to consider forgotten, Tad. Yeah, what happened between Kendall and Aiden? Yes. And the fact that I knew. That, Mr. Slater, is the least I can do. Thank you. You enjoy your party. Oh, Tad, just uh, tell me that Jake is going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. Come on. I would like to propose a toast. To the man of the hour. Cheers. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? Elle Magazine actually let you out. Can you believe it? <laughs> no. Wait till you see our July issue. You look incredible. Oh, thank you. Well, it's nice to see you. Good to see you. Have a good night. Okay. Hey. Hey. To you. I couldn't have gotten through this without you. Oh, no, no. You were the rock. You always believed when the rest of us gave up. I'm so happy for you, Greenlee, for you and Aiden. Nothing but love and happiness from now on. From your lips. Mm. It's been five minutes. I want to see that he's real. Go, go. Thank you. You know, that looks like true love. To have that kind of love. You do. You do have that kind of love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Manny. Yeah. You will, Ryan. When the memories come back, so will the love. Mm. Trust me, you will. Okay. Yes. Okay, so this is it. You're gonna call Ryan, tell him to meet in here, and show him what you got, girl. Oh, okay. What? Okay. What? He's here. Ryan's here. Okay. Prepare yourself, and then make your entrance. Make it big. Tonight is the night. Ryan is yours. Let's go. Take a few days off. Yeah, just try and get him out that door. It's not gonna happen. Come on. <laughs> Bye. Whoa. I'll give my phone out. <laughs> Devane. Yeah, sure. Sorry, baby. I have to take this. That, um, that glow, true love thing, it's, uh, it's real, huh? It's not a rumor. What is it? What's wrong? I'm just so... Relieved and happy and relieved. <laughs> Aiden made it home. I mean, he made it home. You know what? You really deserve to be happy. 
can do. Too happy, that's all. Welcome home.